So we've got Sharon on the line. So thank you, Sharon. It is such a privilege and a pleasure to have you join me and our Australian listeners today. Well, the feeling is mutual and it's a privilege to be speaking to all of you. So thank you for the opportunity. So it's really exciting times having a chat with you, Jay, because uh, you've just recently launched Stella Cleans in the USA. And I believe it was uh, very well received and uh, sold out very quickly. Yes, it was. Um, the product actually came about, you know, they often say that products and innovations come out of challenges. And uh, if this uh, product was born out of uh, me getting very sick from a bacterial infection around uh, a year ago that came from being at a restaurant, which was not food poisoning. It, uh, and I really, I, I really felt so sick, I, I couldn't even stand. And so I really dug into it and, uh, and wanted to find out what happened and where it came from because it was so unusual. It wasn't the flu bug. And uh, so we did a lot of probing, and there's never, you know, totally conclusive, but it seemed like it came from either the counter at the restaurant. It was sort of a popular, very nice, but sort of a more popular fast food type of restaurant. So it either came from the, the tabletop, excuse me, uh, the silverware or the condiment bottles. So, um, so that was that. I recovered from that after a bout of a very heavy-duty antibiotics, which I think also probably was felt like it was going to kill me, all those drugs. But anyway, three weeks later, and by the way, tell me if I'm going on too much, okay? <laughs> uh, three weeks later, I was at, I was at a popular chain drugstore, and uh, the cashier was at least nice enough to turn away from me when he sneezed three times in his hands. Then he came about, and he rolled back his eyes, and he said, oh, I can't believe I'm getting the flu so early. Mm -hmm. And then with those same hands, he grabbed the neck of my water bottle. Oh, yes. So that was really my aha moment to look further. We, we use silver thread in our grounding footwear, which we also make, but because it's highly conductive. But I had known that it was an antimicrobial, or what they call an antimicrobial. It's, uh, it actually goes back to 4000 BC cultures when silver was used before before the major pharmaceutical companies really came on board in the 1940s with um, you know antibiotics yes. so i had known about its properties but i that's what really got me going and probing further about the incredible uh, benefits of silver is a bacteria virus and fungus killer that's right so so There's then a you... lot of lot a lot of documented research about it so you uh, created Stella Cleans. So um, let's talk about that now. So what is so good about Stella Cleans? Well, and I'll go back to, and I can add that after that, we also conducted our own research on this particular uh, type of silver, which is 99.99% .99 pure silver made by one of the finest uh, uh, places in, in the world, and that, that also makes a difference. So what is so great about it? Well, let me talk about it comparatively. Many yeah. people today use toxic, chemically-based or alcohol-based cleansers, um, whether it's a drugstore chain or Purell is a popular brand. If you look at the back of a bottle of any gel or even a spray or a wipe, they often will say 62% um, or higher alcohol or ethanol. They're really the same. Yes. And they all really have to have that percentage to be effective. Um, the problem with those gels and so forth are that they dry out your skin. They can open it up to cracks and make it more vulnerable, you know, for infection. Yes. Some of them claim they build, they build up resistance. Next, they are dangerous if you ingest it. They are harmful if you get it in your eyes. They are flammable. And if a child drinks a bottle... Um, it can equal 120 proof drink. Oh wow! Most of all, most of all, the alcohol kills good bacteria that lies beneath the oily layer of the skin. Yeah. And it has to. The, 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 that's why you'll never see anything that says less than 62% alcohol on it. Sometimes it's 70%. But it has to have that amount, or it doesn't penetrate in. And with Stellar Cleans, it's topical. It does not kill beneficial bacteria because our bodies need good bacteria exactly yeah so that is those 
Now, in addition to that, it is incredibly economical. I mean, silver is a precious metal. Yes. Uh, like gold is a precious metal. Um, however, if you compare the uses of Stellar Cleans, and we tested ours under scientific protocols by an independent researcher for 10,000 uses without washing it, and we tested it for 500 washes, and it was every bit as effective as the first time out. So, so um, and we did a comparison, I, I think, if you got even the cheapest high-volume bottle of, you know, the mm. gels, and to get 10,000 squirts out of it, and even just one squirt, you know, in the States anyway, the numbers would be coming out close to $150. Yeah. And yeah. or even some of the little disposable wipes. I was looking at it, I picked one up um, just because I'm always picking up product, and it was 99 cents here. And I said, you mean if I use this 10,000 times, it's $10,000? Oh. It's unfathomable. <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, all those, all those attributes, but it is a safe, natural, and effective killer of germs, bacteria, and viruses is yes. what its core, core, core attributes. Aside from which, it's also very discreet. Yes. So a businessman can put it in his pocket and just rub his hand there if he's going to a business meeting or meeting somebody or has sweaty palms or doesn't know where somebody else's hands have been. Yes. Um, you can just, it's very discreet. And you can use it anywhere as opposed to pulling out a bottle of, you know, yes. gel. So it's very light, light as well. It's very light. Yeah, it actually feels pretty elegant. It feels like sort of silk. It's, it's pretty much liquid silver. Yes. <laughs> yes. I agree with you. you can also use it. You can also uh, use it wet or yes. damp. Yeah. In fact, using it wet, using it wet is good if you have like a, uh, if you have an open uh, cut or something. Oh, it really? It just speeds yeah. up what they call the ionization, the silver, just a little bit. Yes. But I, um, I sometimes, uh, uh, you know, will use it wet or damp. It dries very, very quickly. It does. But it's, it's, yes. it's very easy to use wet, damp, or dry. Yes. And you can also use it not only on any body part. You can also use it on cell phones. By the way, there are 25,000 bacteria per square inch yes. on a cell phone. But you can use it on cell phones and on surfaces. So I never get on an airplane without wiping down the tray. Yes. And well, if you ever a, talk yes. about a, to a, a flight attendant, they will tell you how filthy the planes are. And many of them will tell you that yeah. they snitch the little alcohol bottles from their commissaries to wash their hands with because of all the germs that are on airplanes. Yeah, that was amazing. I, I was reading, I think it was on your website, that uh, one of the big things was like a, um, you know, your kitchen counter or your keyboards have got 79,000 per square inch. So for our Australian li listeners, a square, a per square inch is about 2.5 centimetres, just a little bigger than a postage stamp there would be, um, you know, 79,000 different types of ger uh, germs living on that surface. So that's amazing. Yeah, well, kitchen counters are actually amongst the worst. Uh, there are actually 2.7 million bacteria per square inch on a kitchen counter. So what I do at home is I'll just wash down with the sponge and I'll just take the Stellar Cleans and go over it. But, you know, we don't think. We come in, we put our purse on there. But even cutting food or a knife or something, but yes, they, um, um, and they don't, you know, when germs grow back, or bacteria, which is infinitesimal, you know, will grow back after a period of time, but kitchen counters are amongst the worst, but um, uh, there are so many things we don't even think of. Gas station pumps, ATM machines, if you punch in four buttons mm. in the enter button, 25,000 bacteria wow. per square inch. Um, yeah, it's just almost... Uh, uh, almost everything here now in the states they are starting to put gloves out at gas stations when people pump gas mm. you know and i never thought about it before but i would pump gas i get in my car and i drive away and a half an hour later i'd go snack on something mm. and then put my hands right back on that steering wheel but i just keep one in the car i just yes. you know wipe down the steering wheel after i, I pump gas and I think you become a more, you know, since um, I've been using the Stellar Cleanse now for a while and I've become a little bit more used to it and it's made me more, more aware of how many times, you know, I'm putting dirty things, you know, on my hands, what they've touched and I'm putting them in my mouth 
and you know it's it's not until you realize that that you you know you sort of think well maybe that's you know I got an upset tummy the other night or you know I've caught a cold I mean I don't very rarely catch colds or flu because I'm you know quite into earthing quite a bit however there are some times you just can't avoid it and you sort of look back and you go where how did I get that how did I get sick how did I get a tummy ache yeah. how did I get that cold um you know, and I, I hate getting sick, so I'm more aware of it now. And even one of the things that I found the cloth um, useful for was that, um, you know, I have my drink bottle and, you know, you're talking about your drink bottle story before, but I just have my own drink bottle. I don't have, you know, the plastic ones and uh, I put my own filtered water in it and, it, you know, I chuck it in my bag, it might go in my handbag, it might go in a bag I'm carrying or it'll go in the car and I'm sort of thought about, well, and then I've been touching everything, you know, I gr usually grab it and it usually grab it by the lid in some cases and then I'm drinking it and I just thought the other day, Gee whiz, how many germs are on that lid? So I've been wiping my drink bottle lid down quite constantly. So that was, you know, a bit of an aha moment for me as well. Yeah, I, I think, Linda, that's so true. And like even, you know, I would go sometimes get a can of soda uh, or a pop out of a refrigerator at a mini mart or when I'm driving or something and think nothing of it. And then when I look closely at one of them and I was just like, gosh, this has been sitting here and look at the, look at the dirt. But um, I keep them everywhere. I even, in, you know, maybe other women are better at it than I, but I keep one in my little cosmetic bag. Oh, yes. And when I use the little dry wand to, you know, get rid of the clumps after I put mascara on it, <laughs> I just even rub it over there because a friend of mine here just got pink eye. And I said, hmm, and I use it on an eyelash curler because inside that little cosmetic bag, I've got sort of sometimes broken eye shadow or it's just, you know, it's just stuff hanging yes, around. Yes, I know? can relate to that because my, my daughter was a beauty therapist and so, you know, all that stuff has to be cleaned continuously and it's so, it can pass on so many germs if they're not cleaned, you know, so I think that's yeah. really important and uh, I know that... Um, in here, uh, Australia, you know, we got uh, I got the Stella Cleans in a little while ago, and we had several lucky people um, that could trial them, because uh, we wanted to see what their feedback was before we decided to go ahead with this. Because you know, I'm always one I, I like to try things, get feedback from my customers, because they're the ones that are going to be using it as well. But a lot of the popular uh, feedback was that you know, a lot of them were using it before they were eating, before they were wiping phones, you know, for wiping phones down, wiping shopping trolley handles, keyboards, and you know, totally. doing beauty or medical treatments before they were doing beauty or medical treatments. So, and one of my uh, trialers, her name was uh, her name's Rita, and she's a nurse from South Australia. And she found that, you know, because she's in and out of rooms, she's touching, constantly touching door handles, um, she's touching medical uh, equipment, she's touching people. So she found that cloth, the, the Stella Cleans cloth, very convenient. And, you know, she actually carries a little money bag on her while she's working so that her personal things are on her. And she just carried it in her uh, little money bag and it was on her and she could use it during her work hours. And, uh, you know, she also suggested... Uh, a handy place to store it would actually be in her glass case or in, in glasses cases because many right, of us right, have our right. glasses in our bag we get them out to read our menus we get them out before we use the ATM or to, to do a treatment so we'd actually have them in our glass case and, and just remind us to you know, wipe our hands um, yeah they, they come with a little pouch too which some people like me I, I would just throw it in my purse me too but after a while <laughs> But after a while, I started using the pouch because I would get ink on it, and oh, and then I yeah. spilled some coffee on it, and then last week I had yesterday's breakfast on it, <laughs> like a donut, and grabbed it, and it just keeps it thin. It's also easy to sort of grab it, but um, yeah, they're they're uh, just uh, oh gosh, the places that bacteria is, and it's just bacteria is getting so much smarter. It is, it is, and I only just our listeners here. You know, we have a program called Catalyst, and it's very interesting. They sort of do, you know, scientific or interesting sort of programs on there. And they were just actually a few weeks ago had a program how antibiotics are actually, you know, they're, re they're resisting uh, our regular, you know, our treatments. And they're, uh, even antibiotics will be useless in a few years' time if they don't come up with other alternatives. So, you know, just to have this, you know, so you... you 
it's it's a bit like you know um it prevention is always better than cure that's what i always think so right, you know right, and and right. if you can you know prevent this from happening in the first place you don't have to go on the antibiotics which you know is, is a good thing um but one little thing one little story i just wanted to mention to you was um we were out a few week, uh, a couple of weekends ago, my family, and uh, a little, a lovely little festival in a in a country town, and uh, of course, you know they have to bring in lots of extra things, and they they had all the porta loos there. That's like portable toilets outside, and right, right, so right, we had right, to use right. the porta loos. There was no alternative, and even though they had a little sink in there, you still had to you know pump the water and then open the door again and it's sort of it's sort right, of an icky right, it's an right. icky feeling but you have to use them yeah. sometimes that's all there is to it and uh anyway but then there's then there was all these you know very tempting lovely food stalls you know cooking uh or all fingers type food so we wanted to eat you know and there was absolutely nowhere at to wash our hands with like water so i had my stella cleans in my bag so i pulled it out and we all used it. So there was about five of us, you know, my mum, my husband, my my sister and her husband. We all used it before we uh, ate. And it just made me personally feel so much better after having to use that port loo to be able to think that my fingers are actually yeah. free of whatever no, germs. Absolutely. Yeah, so it, what, and so you absolutely it, can share it. Oh, you good. That was, yeah. share it with others too. That's fantastic because that was the question I was, you know, I really wanted to find oh, out. Yeah, yeah, because it's a, you yeah, know. Yeah, totally. Oh, good. Okay, so it's a bacteria. Bacteria cannot grow on silver. As soon as silver touches it, it kills it, and then it disintegrates. But, you know, bacteria, you can't really see it. It's airborne. It's tiny. Yes. It's, it's, it's a, but, but, but it is a proven scientific fact, and there is a great deal of scientific literature yes. published it actually kills silver. Even kills things like MRSA, um, it's, um, which is the documented. But um, it can't grow now. The thing about it, I'll, I'll say, is it's not like a detergent or a cleaner. Yes. Like if I read the newspaper, I'm still old-fashioned and like newspapers. <laughs> Me too. And I get black, you know. <laughs> I get I get black newsprint, yes. you know, on it. And I use the Stellar Cleans. It's not going to get rid of the black newsprint like it was a cleaner. Yes. But there's no bacteria on my hands. Yes. And there's no bacteria on the black fingers. Yes. So it's um, but uh, but yeah, no, it's very it's a it's, it's actually that's an interesting point. We should add that on that it's yeah. great for shared consumption. Yeah. yeah. We pass ours out around all the time. Whenever I go out and with dinner or anybody, they say, okay, hand it over. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Well, actually, I I uh, went out for dinner with um, some friends, and uh, they're sort of you know they're they're sort of ex nurses. They're still sort of in that area, but they don't work as hard as they used to do. And uh, I pulled mine out at dinner and started wiping my hands. And well, what's that? What have you got? So there was a great amount of interest, and uh, uh, I, I, I was then my first customers. They all said, you know, I want I want two. I want one for this person. I want one. They could immediately see the benefits of it being in the health industry. They could immediately. I didn't have to. I didn't even have to. You know, say much about it. I just told them what it did. It killed the germs. It's silver, and it kills germs on contact. And they were just all for it. So. Um, you know, these people... It's interesting yeah. that you're saying that, Linda. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. People in the medical profession, too, because especially working in hospitals, which are just full of germs um, oftentimes. And, and in fact, uh, uh, yeah, we have a, a lot of nurses. Um, I mean, there's some of the gels on the market, they will say they're the number one use in hospitals. Now, that can be misleading because a lot of big companies can give the product away free to put in like the public areas. Yes. But if you go upstairs, if you go to a medical floor, they will use antimicrobial soap or in water or gloves, but they love Stellar Clean. Yes. But people in the medical profession know about bacteria and many of them know about silver. Yes, yeah. And, and, and they I actually think... still use it. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, that's all right. Sorry. Um, I think that um, it's a little bit of a, it's going to be a little bit of a, you know, a paradigm shift, I think, because... From the survey that I did or the, you know, the trial I did with my customers, 
I think a lot of people associate that alcohol smell as being a clean Absolutely. smell. And now they have Absolutely. to get over that. They have to, you know, because there's no smell with the Estella Cleans cloth. It's, there's absolutely no smell. So they, they, they sort of, you know, obviously have to now shift to knowing that silver is a, you know, is going to kill this bacteria and going to kill the germs on right. contact instead of that smell yeah. where that is not actually true is it that smell even though it only lasts for a certain amount of time well you know we're very conditioned to it the same way if you go into a shopping mall and you smell fresh baked cookies yes you uh, they have them here anyway you want to go to the bakery yes smell is a very very potent uh trigger and so i think we are conditioned from you know being little or whatever else when we're little that alcohol and cleaning go hand in hand so it is but alcohol is really a chemical and then there's some people that say organic alcohol yes all alcohol is organic you know it's not like there's a natural alcohol or not it is still a chemical yes and yes but we are conditioned we do know that but again um, and on our website and I you know there's just some summarized versions of uh, of our research showing the silver cloth compared to the gels and stuff uh, in a scientific laboratory environment of, uh, you know, of how the silver kills the germs. I mean, germs will grow back and bacteria grows back over time. It's not forever gone. But, um, but yes, I think we are conditioned that way and you can't see it. But, you know, you can't see it with alcohol either. Mm -hmm. You put the stuff gel on your hands. Sometimes it gets sticky. Sometimes it doesn't. Uh, but if it goes away, but actually, uh, once once it dries out the alcohol stuff uh, it really is ineffective but uh, but yes I think we are conditioned that way but if somebody wanted to just look a little bit about um, into silver because it is such a known scientific fact we you know we did not create we did not create the natural element called yes. silver. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and, and that's I wish a, we did. Yeah. <laughs> well, it goes as you mentioned earlier in your talk. It goes back, you know, many years. People have been using silver as a healing mechanism for so long. And you know, I was just reading a book the other night, and I found an interesting fact that uh, you know it said our great grandmothers used to put a silver dollar coin in fresh milk to keep it from spoiling at room temperature. Um, you know, so, you know, it's not something new. It's just, uh, you you know, it's just a, a different way of doing things and using silver, which is a natural product. There's no, um, you know, side effects from it. There's no, um, you know, anything uh, unnatural about it that's going to cause harm and that's that's what I like about it you know it's and I just shove it out you know I'm like you I just put mine in my bag and because it's a silvery yeah. color it's really easy I can just pull it out you know my bag is a, a complete mess I'm, I have one of those messy bags but you can never find anything you've got everything in it Me but too. you can never find anything but I can always right. spot the Stella yeah. twins and just pull it out pull it out uh, yeah. uh, you know people so people use it everywhere they, they clean out their animals water bowls I mean it's just the uses of it and it's almost unconscious because it's so easy to you yes. know, take it out and do a wipe and, and I, I'm not a germaphobe yes uh, but I've become more conscious and um, and germs as you say are smart they know how to mutate yes that's why you know with uh, certain drugs you know they become resistant and they're smart but uh, yeah silver was used and still is in certain countries but it was very much used in wound care. Um, so it really goes way, oh, okay. way, way back. Mm. And, and uh, Sharon, just tell me, like, um, one of the things I was thinking about when I was at a restaurant and, you know, I'd done all the usual things. You go and wash your hands before you eat. And um, I then got handed a pager and I went back to the table. And so I'm fiddling with this pager and I'm looking at all the people in the restaurant uh -huh. going, oh, okay, how, many, how much bacteria is on this? So I got my Stella oh, Cleans. Gosh out and I started you know wiping the page down and wiping my hands but how long should we actually be wiping our hands or wiping a surface like how long is it on contact or is it you know five seconds yeah. ten seconds yeah what we that's interesting about the pager we'll have to add that in I mean we have remote controls we have a mm. whole bunch of stuff with those restaurant pagers I actually brought my car in for servicing today for a bad tire and they gave me one of those pagers. I didn't even think about that, but you're right about how many hands handle that. We recommend that if you're wiping your hands, well, let me back up. 
as soon as you rub it, your hands or a body part or something with it, it kills the bacteria. Bacteria yes. just cannot grow. However, we recommend like eight to ten seconds of just wiping. Yes. And uh, you know, just gets all the you know because skins are skin is porous. Some of us have some wrinkles in places, some not, or nooks and crannies or whatever. So you know, eight to ten seconds, which goes pretty quickly. Is yes. Well, yeah. You know, well, is what we did our testing with, but uh, but as soon as it touches it, it it, it pretty much, it can't grow once it's touched yeah that's silver. that's great and i think that you know the, the cloth's so lovely to use you're going to be 10 seconds there anyway <laughs> so it's just sort of it's yeah, a lovely it, feels really yeah, good. it does I, I like i really love rubbing my hands with it so you know you mentioned um stella cleans you know is, is much safer it's less drying it's um you know it's it's less irritating than using gels um, but one other point that our, one of our customers uh, brought up, uh, Leslie, and she was from, um, she's actually from New South Wales. Um, you know, she she actually uh, was on the trial because she actually has Parkinson's disease, and she had to eliminate oh, wow. all toxins from you know from her daily use of things. So she found the Stella cleans very convenient, and she brought up a good point though that she uh, she thought it was really great too because. Um, you know, there's nothing to dispose of at the end of the day. So every time, you know, the environment's becoming so important today, totally. even with these, yeah, you know, plastic yeah, yeah, bottles, yeah. everything's plastic, you know, the ocean's getting filled up with all these plastics. And, you know, there's nothing, there's no plastic bottles left. There's no plastic containers. So, you know, you know, this, this, you, you know, the Stella Cleanse cloth is going to probably last you, you know, anywhere from three to five plus years. Um, and, and that's the one thing. So you'll be actually contributing to the environment as well by using the Stella Cleanse cloth. Absolutely. It is, it is not a disposable, in fact, um, there's an article I can actually send you that uh, talks very specifically about the environmental impact of all the disposable wipes that mm. are on the market, and uh, that is uh, very, very, very true. And, uh, you know, someone speaking of things medical, which we haven't really gotten into, although it's interesting, there's a lot of interest in the medical arena, but um, someone had eczema, and they um, their skin was very dry, and they wanted to use some, you know, uh, bacterial cleaners and stuff. So they found using Stellar Cleans was great because it didn't dry out your skin. Yes. Aside from the fact that it wasn't alcohol. So, um, but, uh, yeah, toxins aren't good for anybody, really. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Um, yeah, so you mentioned before, you know, that they, they're quite easy to clean. I just, uh, you know, got mine and I just put it under some warm water with a little bit of soap and I, I just sort of flung it over the uh, the, hand, the the handle of the the basin and it, you know it was dry within oh when when I went back it was just dry so but they're fine to use damp so you can still put it back in your, your bag damp so I, I think that's really good and yeah. um, you know it's so convenient for travelers I find this a big one and a lot of our um, you know trialers that used it said you know they're definitely going to you know one lady actually Amanda from South Australia she actually took hers overseas when she was traveling overseas um, in Thailand and Malaysia so we all know We've all sort of got a sense. We know that you can pick up many bugs in those places. And she reported right, right, she right. she didn't pick up any bugs. Um, she had her Stella cleans yeah. with her. And she found, you know, she found it so convenient traveling. There were no spills, no mess, no nasty chemical smells that you'd get from gels. And it was so small. Um, you know, she could fit it into, you know, anything, a purse, a pocket, while she was oh, out. you can stuff it anywhere. Yeah, out and but about. you know, even for the local, local commuters, like people taking a bus or a train or the turnstiles in the train, just every single place when you think of all the hands that touch them. But going back to the carrying of them, they're very easy. Yes. You can put them in the washing machine. There's no reason to really, though. Yes. I just take mine, and we have a little silver cleaner, but you don't need that. Just mild soap, no yes. bleach. And I put a little dab and I'll just rub it under the faucet. I'll wring it over it. I'll hang it over the faucet in probably three minutes. It's dry. Um, but you know, when you were going back before, I don't know. It's interesting about. Um, I'd like it damp or, or wet. Yes. Uh, too, but uh, that might for people that are used to, uh, you know, the moist towelettes or uh, the alcohol stuff. That actually might be interesting to see if they they would find using it moist that made them feel better. Ha ha ha. But. Uh, but it's great to use. I mean, I will admit the other day I was, 
I had a, um, I'm new in Arizona, and I don't didn't never had allergies before, but there's something here that gives me an allergy a little yes. bit. And I had a runny nose, and I was sneezing, and I didn't, um, I didn't have any Kleenex with me or any tissue, so I just took a little bit of water in my bottle, I put it on the Stellar Cleanse, and I used it as a handkerchief. <laughs> I was thinking that so, just the uh, other day, actually, because uh, uh, my colleague that works with me, she was sneezing, and I was going to say, hey, get your Stellar Cleanse out and use it as a... <laughs> As a as a tissue. Well, if you know you're going to sneeze. It definitely definitely sneeze into it. Yes. You know, if you don't want to, we can pick up our own bacteria too. You know, a lot of people will uh, turn and sneeze into their arm. Yes. So uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. That, that's handy. great. I'll I'll remember that. Just uh, we won't want to share it around after that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but well, you could because it's crazy because uh, uh, you know I drove somebody nuts. Yes. I was at an airport, and I had something stuck in my tooth, so I got a little bit of dental floss, and I was a little bit aggressive because I wanted to get through the security line, and I cut my gum a little bit. Yes. So I took out my Stellar Cleans, and then I went through the security. I had to take off my shoes, and when I got to the other side of it, I wiped my feet, and then a few minutes later, I put the same thing back in my mouth, and the people behind me were <laughs> appalled. They said, you just, you just went from foot to mouth. I said yes, and I explained why. They still didn't believe it, but it's true. There was no bacteria on it. Oh, I mean, wow. it is a little crazy. <laughs> I don't usually like to alarm people, but it's what I did. I mean, if I knew the floor was filthy, and I didn't want to, you know, I did didn't want to get a because gums and can you know yes. be open to infection. So well, that, yeah, but I, people thought I was nuts. That brings me to a question. There's so many people with smelly feet. <laughs> so um, ah, it can, does it ah. help with smelly feet? What do you do? Do you wipe it over your absolutely. feet or yes? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so silver also is a, is a known inhibitor of the type of bacteria that causes foot odor. Now, foot odor comes from a couple different places. It comes from one's genetic makeup, the acid in their body. It's, it can be internal in terms of their just chemical makeup, their body makeup. Yes. But it also comes from moisture and, and dampness that can be, you know, because feet perspire. Many people, because feet perspire in the winter, whether it's cold out or not. Feet, feet a lot of, you know, perspire. So, um, yes, you can wipe down your feet. You can wipe down your shoes. Actually, um, we have a fresh feet spritz that we have with our foot product. We just put a little bit of colloidal yes. silver in there to help with that, too. But uh, there's a big company out there called Lululemon. Yes. And they make yoga They make yoga apparel. Oh, yes. Well, they have a line of apparel that just came out, and it's called Sweat Don't Stink. And they use a little bit. They use 12% silver thread. Ours is 99.99%, so it has a different impact on killing bacteria. But they say you can wear clothes for three days and you don't have to wash them. They won't stink because of silver. Yes, um, but yes it does inhibit odor that causes uh, bacteria that causes foot over. So it's good to wipe down your feet with. And, um, yeah. Okay, yeah. that's a big one. Uh, <laughs> I think a lot of people are going to be shocking uh, their work colleagues when they wipe their feet and then... <laughs> <laughs> wipe their hands with it they might shock them a little bit but uh, that's a good one I'm sure many many ladies um, will actually use that and find that one very helpful so Sharon we have to um, wrap it up that's been so interesting talking to you and uh, I'm sure all our listeners uh, really really enjoyed uh, hearing it first class from your lips um, so to speak so just on wrapping up have you got any uh, like final words you'd just like to say about Stella Cleans? No I think we just feel very good and very proud to everything we do is about enhancing uh, the health and wellness of people naturally but also with things that are really grounded in science yes so is uh, is um, you know the ancient Sort of new. Yes, <laughs> there are they a lot did. Of, uh, uh, natural things that really are incredibly effective, and this happens to be one. So we feel good that we're contributing to an alternative, you know, to uh, for people to help, you know, keep them, you know, uh, cleaner and yes. feeling good, and also environmentally being thoughtful. Yeah, that's wonderful. That's really wonderful. Um, and and where uh, you know we've I've got Stella Cleans on our website now, so we actually have links on there. When you go to um, our website at www.barefoothealing.com.au, and uh, the links when you click on the Stella Cleans, 
uh, we'll take them to your website at stellaklings.com. Just dot com, sorry. Um, it will take them yeah. to your website, and people can look up all the uh, research there. Uh, they can uh, look at your frequently asked questions. So if they want to go and do more um, investigations into silver and, the, and and how you did the actual experiments, yeah. they can see that there. Yeah. Yes, and there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of small print <laughs> and a bibliography, <laughs> as they say. But it lists a lot of the scientific literature that our researchers cited when we did our laboratory testing. But it is it is a very well documented. Um, fact of life. So I think for someone that is interested in learning a little bit more, it's um, it's interesting. It's yeah, interesting. okay. Well, we've, for our listeners, we've got all that information that will be on our website. So you can, uh, the link will go directly to stellacleans.com and you can see the experiment um, and, and how it all, uh, how it compares with the gels as to uh, the silver, the silver cloth. So um, we might have to wrap it up there, Sharon. So thank you so well, thank much you again. Thank you so much for the opportunity. And it's, it's uh, uh, I've enjoyed it. And, uh, and, and we're thrilled that um, you have Stellar Cleans in your part of the world as well. So. Thank you. And I, I'm really excited. And, you know, we're the first to bring it into Australia. So um, this is where you get it, guys, from uh, Barefoot Healing. Uh, the, you know, you can be the first to be the innovative people out there. So, Sharon, we look yeah. forward. Uh, well, Linda, I will also say, I'm yes. signing off because then I don't know if your listeners know this too, or fans or customers, is that, you know, uh, we feel very privileged to, to be in a relationship with you and to have you as our Australian partner. We, as you know, are very much into grounding and earning yes. and the health benefits there, but you are all really, really just, um, just remarkable people and we feel very fortunate to uh, be connected with you so thank you oh thank you thank you Sharon that's lovely um, so well we're gonna look we're gonna look forward to your next uh, natural health product <laughs> um, I'm sure we'll all be oh, looking I forward to it I told everybody well we are we actually do have some other products using silver yes. that uh, that we want to add to the line too just to expand it out so but uh, yeah, between grounding and staying clean, I think this might be, be it. Yes, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of talking. We'll take care of that for a long time. Okay, <laughs> then. Okay, then, Sharon, thanks Great a lot. With and you. Uh, bye for now.